Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to take a look at another Transformer Armada for you guys. Now, I wasn't having put in to do one because I'm actually missing one accessory. And now I am going to talk about it in a moment. So, so the one I'm going to take a look is this right here. This one we have here is the Transformers Armada Supercon Class Smokescreen with Lift-On. Now, before we continue on, I need you guys to do me a little bit of quick favor, so I'll be right back. Hey you! Stop what you're doing! Like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and enjoy your day. So this one, I got it from one of my friends on Twitter who was selling it, um... I forgot, it, I forgot about how much it costs. So thanks to my buddy Pal on Twitter, of course a lot of people say it now is X, but I'm still gonna keep saying Twitter, so screw you guys. Uh... I'm actually pretty happy about it. While I was got to that figure, I was pretty surprised because it's easy and, and to transform it, but I am actually missing one part, which is the missile. Long story short, it belongs to this figure, which is blue, and if anyone have one, please contact me in any social media I have. I'll be grateful. So, so here it is, lift on and smoke screen together side by side in their vehicle mode. So let's take a look over at Lift On for a little bit. His vehicle, uh, this Minicon uh, vehicle mode is representing a, what appears to be a forklift snow plow or something. I may not sure what kind of vehicle mode is this. But it does have some nice sculpting and detail of it. And it does have the Minicon symbol right there. And underneath of it, this of course is the robot head. This part is the robot arms. And this piece right here, you guys can see, is the part of the robot legs. So yeah, does roll pretty well. Want to mention one thing, and that pretty much that's it. So let's put lift on out of the way, and take a look over smoke screen. Which smoke screen vehicle mode is representing a crane truck right here? The paint that is sculpted, the detail on the, on the vehicle mode looks good. The orange blue with the light gray silver, and a little bit into black, which is this part right here, looks absolutely amazing. Now, I think they've been used this mold again on a two-pack. I'm may not sure what it is, but I would like to get that. Um, he does have an Autobot symbol right here, which is sculpted in pretty, pretty well. And let's move the lamp over here for now. Um, no, well, there is one problem. The He does have a visible head syndrome, which is over here. So, yeah, that kind of sucks about it. Uh, he does, uh, whoops, this is also the other problem, the hook does take, had, uh, can pop off, come off over here, which you can put it here. Uh, okay, you know what, fuck you, let's put it back here. He does roll pretty well, and I'll save you here, that sound. There's a gear function back here, which I'm actually going to talk about it later on, but anyways... Um, he does have two minicon ports, one here, well three, one here, one over here, and one on the hook. So, let's go down with the, one of the gimmicks first, which is the hook back here. So, let's bring the rope back here, and of course, like I said, there's a minicon port right there, so there's a minicon right here on the hole. And, and of course, you can drag him in here, but... There's a switch right there, which, if I can, switch that, and do this, you can recover the Minicon. Which is actually a pretty cool gimmick, to be honest with you. Let's do it one more time, and let's do it again. This is actually pretty cool, so he can rescue any Minicon who is in trouble. Let's switch flip that back in, bring it there, and of course for this one doesn't do anything, it just rest there for now, but there's more into that for robot mode, which I'll get on with it later. Now he does have another gimmick, which is the crane arm right here, and by the way, does have a hinge right there on the hook, and the whole crane arm is on a ratchet joint, so listen to this. Nice, and it does go full 360, of course the head can go like that. That's because that's part of the transformation and plus the gimmick. Which, it is a giant pain in the ass and also a giant pain in the ass to angle it. So there we go. Now, 
this part. There's a mini con port right there with this little blue button right there. And make sure you have a mini con with you because you plug that in. And make sure you have lift on straighten out and look at this. Boom, he has a giant cannon on his crane arm. And this was a missile go over here, which I like I said, I don't have the missile because I am actually missing the missile. So yeah, and you can shoot it, load it back in. And there you go. It does work the same thing on robot mode, so yes. So let's detach this. And of course, it's unlocking the mechanism, so you can't do anything. Overall, DC vehicle mode together side by side looks good. I actually do like it a lot. Not to transform these two into their rowing mode, it's pretty easy. For lift on, it's pretty easy and simple. First thing to do is split this apart, bring this back, bring out the legs, or the, the front part of the vehicle, bring out the legs, split them like this so far, bring out the arms like that, and you got lift on finishing up. And then fully transform into into robot mode. I don't know if any minicons have any genders. One for boy, one for male. One for, one for boy, one for girl. Um, you guys can actually leave the comment down below for now, please. Um, anyways, for smoke screen, on tab the side of the vehicle mode, there's a there's a hook right there, and they go into this slot right there. Just go like that. But anyways, untap that. Next is to next is to unpick. This part, there's two pegs that go into this, these two peg, peg holes right there. Now, you want to push this piece down. This become the whole body. Now, this part right here, you want to split these, but you want to be very, very careful with it because there's this little piece right here that can go in right here. And I actually don't like that because if you feel like this piece is going to break anytime soon. Now bring the legs forward, flip this down, this will become the feet, do the same thing on the other side. Also bring this forward on the legs, so there you go, you got that done. Now for the arms, extend these out, push this back in, bring the arms down. You can see this is the part of the fist, and that's one of the major issues, which I'll talk about it later. Bring this in, bring that in. Now this whole piece right here, you guys can see, bring it facing forward. And I like to do is bring up the crane arm a little bit more. You make sure you have the hook back there, connect it in, hook, hooked in. And there you have Smokescreen and Lefton together in their robot mode. These two actually look good together, but yeah. So let's take a look at Lefton at first. Now you guys can see the paint and sculpted detail on the Lefton looks good. On the robot mode, there's no orange on it, which is kind of completely sad to be honest with you. All the orange is back here, so yeah. Um, he does have some, you know, kibble in the way. Affecting for the, you know, the arms articulation for, you know, for 360, which I'll do that later. Uh, a little bit of articulation ahead, but by the way, head sculpt is actually look pretty good. But I wish to get add some more, a little bit of paint to it. And, and unfortunately the legs can go that far, so that's gonna sucks. So that pretty much does it for lift on, now it's gonna get a look of smoke screen. Paint and sculpt the detail on, on the robot mode looks good. Um, he looks, he looks fine, I guess, but, of course, this figure was released in 2003, and the only major complaint I have is he doesn't have any elbows, no knees, no waist, and you can even barely call it a hand right there. So, articulation is kind of a bit limited, well, he does have some arms moving right here, same thing with legs, but not with the other joint. Face sculpt on the other hand looks absolutely amazing, but stuck in a gimmick, which is kind of sucks. 
So yeah, that's that also sucks. Um, remember what I said about this port right there? Well, let's transform Lifton quickly into to robot mode very into vehicle mode very quickly. You could actually use this minicon as a weapon. So like a triple changer or something. Um, I mean, I should to be honest with you, but you could use like that as a weapon, and that's like, actually kind of looks pretty cool. So let's um, take him back. And of course, the gimmick is the same thing like in the vehicle mode. If anyone's gonna wonder in the comment section. So yeah, get that bitch in. Nope, get it in. There we go. Now we can transform Lift Hunt back into robot mode. Put him to the side for now. Uh, articula articulation wise, by the way, of course the head can go. It can go 360 because it's on a gimmick. So, duh. Arms does go full 360 right there. Well, somewhat of it because this piece does interfere in the way for articulation. It does go this far and that far. Arms can go can go in and out because then a hinge right there. Make sure you connect these back. Like I said, no elbow articulation. Well, you can at least call it an elbow, but no, no wrist, no waist, which is horseshit. But I understand why it's a. I don't know how old this figure is, like 20 years old. Of course, it went in 2023, so I guess it's a 20-year-old figure. Feet can go forward that far. Not that much backwards. It's on a ball joint. It does go in and out. Swivel at the whole bicep right here. Because, of course, that's the transformation. No knee, no ankle, no nothing. So, articulation is limited, so he's somewhat of a brick. And then, of course, you could do the same gimmick again. On the, uh... Robot mode on the hook part. Flip that and there you go. So it's the same thing. It's the same gimmick like in the vehicle mode. So yeah, these two looks fun. Good, good each other. And I don't know why the cameras can't even focus. God damn it. So yeah. Alright, I'm going to try to give him the final pose and give you guys my final results, so uh, I'll be uh, right back, so yeah. Before we actually continue on the, you know, for the final pose, I kind of forgot to mention one thing for the possibility of Lufton. Head can go left and right, arms, forward, backwards. You do have an elbow joint, but that due to transformation. Feet can go forward, backwards, and a little bit of in and out. Over 90 degree bend, but that due to transformation, and yeah. All right, back to the fun of pose. Overall, smoke screen and lift on together, they are actually pretty nice. Of course, it's a 20-year-old figure. So yeah, anyways, I'm going to end this right here to you guys. Have fun, stay safe, and I'm always, I'm out.